Today I'm gonna show you a little tip about working with time. As you know, you can use the time variable or the date variable from the system. But today we're gonna do it on another way. So let's do it. We click on the plus button, then we give it a name test. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then we give another action uh, plus alert, for example, pop up. And I use as text the variable time. Sorry, all in uppercase because it, it's a global variable. So let's pop up times the variable and let's see what it gives right now. So let's do it. Let's play the play button and it gives you a uh, number 13, 77, 36, 42, uh, 26. It's a long number, but what does that number mean? And that number mean one thing, the time now, right now, in seconds. So that number means Saturday 24 August, 19 hours, 11 minutes and seconds. So let's remove this action. Gonna remove it, long press and cut. So let's add another action. Now I'm gonna set up another variable and move the content of times, the time now in seconds, in that variable. So let's do it. Let's click the plus button, variables, variable sets, and reset. We give it a name and I give it my time, my time, and we set it to times. Okay. What does it do? The content of times will be moved in the variable my time. So when I show you my time, it will say the same as time. Let's try it. Plus alert flash and then uh, my time. Where are you here? Yeah. my time okay let's get back so when i play it it should give you that number as before so we know that's working step one and we cut that let's do another thing let's convert times to date and hours and minutes and seconds so we have times Times will say the time right now in seconds and now we're gonna convert it back to a normal date, hours and seconds. So let's do it. We use the my time variable. So let's plus variables, variable, where are you, variable convert and we use uh, time no uh, sorry my time and then we set the function to my times give you the times in seconds right now but we have to convert it to daytime and we store the result in um, my time too. Okay, let's get back. And then we flash the... No, I'm gonna use a pop-up. Pop-up. And I'm gonna say... Uh, my time too. Time two. Okay. 
let's see what it gives so first of all we're gonna use the times so we have the time right now in seconds we're gonna move that in my time variable then we're gonna convert the my time variable to dates hours and minutes and then we're gonna uh, pop up that variable so let's do it so let's give you 8 24 2013 19.16 so it's the same as that so the times it give you a long number of numbers so it will um, convert it back to the uh, date and hour and minutes and that's the result so uh, why I'm showing you this because it's very interesting why for example you can make a profile that counts the hours or minutes or seconds also you can use math or with those variables for example we can make a sleep mode so when we go to sleep we're gonna set a variable containing the times then in for example start sleep when we wake up we're gonna set the times right now then in stop sleep then you can use math uh, stop sleep minus start sleep and you ha will have the numbers in seconds if you want to convert the seconds to hours you have to divide it by 3600 so there are 16 60 seconds in one minute and 60 minutes in one hour so it means dividing by 3600 i hope it makes any sense so i hope you can use it also in other tasks uh, for uh, doing any maths um, there are a lot of possibilities for using that uh, for example also uh, making calendar items making uh, timers alarm clocks etc it has a lot of possibilities for using that i hope you understand it it's very important that uh, you know the meaning of the variable of times thank you